Dear all, welcome to Civil Services with Zaki. Today we are going to discuss about what is insulation and basically it is related to the major geographical concept series. So let us we move forward and see what is insulation. So what is insulation and if you see here the energy transmitted from the sun to the earth and basically it is called incoming radiation and these incoming radiation are called insulation. So it has varies only slightly during the short time for which we have accurate measurement with the certain satellites. So uh, the basic question is how much energy do we receive from the sun and why does it vary at all? So why some parts of the earth uh, receive more energy and some part of the earth receive less energy. Why? So let us move forward and see the answer. So how much energy is transformed from sun to the earth? And if you see here, uh, basically it is our earth and you see some top, uh, this side is dark and another side is the light path. So if you see the solar energy and basically the sun emits radiation, so it is composed of high energy infrared radiation and visible lights and ultraviolet radiation. These are collectively known as short wave radiation. So the radiation coming from the sun is called short wave radiation. It is called short wave radiation. So we move forward and see, see here, this is our earth and we assume if you see here to help us envision how much energy earth receive, imagine a thin circular disk like this, imagine it is imaginary, imagine thin circular disk. So same diameter, this disk has same diameter like our earth. So making just large enough to intercept all energy that would fall on the earth more complex sphere. So if you see here earth, earth is spherical. So it is more, more complex. It means we can intercept these all energy in certain days for the calculation of the solar radiation or insulation or incoming solar radiation. So we move forward and see here. So according to both the measurement and the calculation, a relatively consistent amount of energy radiated on this disk uh, every second. So this relatively consist amount of the energy is equivalent to 1000 366 watt per square meter. So if you see uh, it means it was uh, in uh, if we calculate this watt per square meter into the calorie. So it is about 1.94 calorie per square centimeter per minute and it is called solar constant. So what is solar? So it is called solar constant. It is called solar constant this equivalent only so if uh, this amount of energy it means 1366 watt per meter square is only 2 billionth of the power of the sun so why because uh, this less amount is very very less amount from the energy emitted by the sun in the all direction so if you see here sun or here earth. So this energy only from earth direction but sun emit energy here, 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 here. It means the planets farther from the sun receive less energy and planet nearer from the sun is receive more energy. So that's why 
uh, some outer planet or if you so the, uh, see that some outer planet are very cold very cold beyond mars if you see mars is cooler than our earth so it is about solar constant and solar constant is 1366 watt per square meter so we move forward and see our earth so if uh, you see here earth see this part this part is day and it is night so as you see death uh, day and night so the night side uh, area receive zero energy zero energy if you see 1366 watt per power so it is not all the time all the places is the same because it is different from the place to place so if you see the night receives zero solar radiation whereas equatorial location experiencing clear sky so if we see this type this area equator area even when the clear sky and during the summer it may get 600 to 700 watt per meter square at the noon why because some of the energy absorbed by the atmosphere so surface receives only 600 to 700 note 1366 watt it is at the top of the atmosphere so it is the calculation of our uh, basically uh, incoming solar radiation we uh, know as it is earth is not a disk so during the course of the day the amount of energy is spread out entire the surface area of the planets and it as well here. because earth is not a disk because earth has a spherical shape earth has atmosphere and various gases so a sphere has four times more surface area than the circuit so if we see the disk so so the energy must spread out across four times more so uh, the area of the sphere is compared to the disk it means the disk received 1000 or one time it means uh, they divided into the four times in the sphere so if we see here our earth so dividing 1366 watt by four because they divided by the four and it yields about 341.5 watt per meter so why this so basically but the geographer if you see the geographer and the solar scientist he actually use 345 meter uh, watt meter square slightly more than the one fourth of that 1366 watt so why why they not uh, calculate like a sphere because if you see our earth so earth is not exactly a sphere as you know earth is geoid not exact like a sphere so that's why it is more than one by four so geographer scientist and the solar scientist uh, a, a use this type of energy it means 345 watt meter in the surface area of the our earth so that is called finally solar insulation solar insulation so now uh, we know the, what is solar insulation the incoming radiation coming from the so sun is called solar radiation is, is called insulation or incoming solar radiation you can call it incoming solar radiation so that so uh, we forward and we see in the next video how the solar energy interact with the atmosphere and what is the some other phenomenon how they impact on the pressure of the uh, surface of the earth where so what is air pressure 
what is the atmospheric circulation these are the major concepts in the geography so if you want to continue with this then you subscribe if you are new then subscribe our channel and tell your friend about our initiation so if you have any question regarding the geography ecology environment science centered then you write in the comment box we will provide you the complete solution regarding the these topic uh, this topic for the civil services examination so thanks thanks for watching this video we will meet in the next next week with the next video with the new concept so don't forget to subscribe our channel press the bell icon so thanks thanks a lot